Dollmouth. An old Victorian inn, the Dollmouth, undergoes a restoration before anyone realizes it was built on an ancient burial grounds for things best left dead and forgotten. Raising the foundation means raising the old innkeeper and his violent creations. A group of wealthy guests are invited for their first stay. But will they survive to tell the tale? Deep beneath the snowy foundations of the Dollmouth Inn, your bones begin to creak. Someone is trespassing, disturbing your deep slumber. Your ancient wooden limbs fill with a familiar aching hunger. The price you paid for your black soul to remain at home, trapped in eternal purgatory. You dwell on your sin, consumed by regret. Were there not happier days here? When you built this home for the family of your dreams? What drove you to such madness? You recall the fire. Her screams echo eternally inside your rotten heart. You reach for your silk robe and slippers, remnants of the refined life you lived. So much wealth and extravagance, expensive treatments, cruel charlatans preying on your desires. You would pay any price for an heir. When the cost was human life, killing came too easy. You brush away mold and cobwebs along with haunting memories from your human life long ago when you built this place for the children you hoped to sire. The shelves of untouched toys you carved mock you, but night will soon fall and you will be a papa. There is little life down here. The decayed bones of forgotten victims barely feed your cursed hunger. Then the familiar purge begins. A crude wooden doll vomits forth and awakens, a deadly offspring to do your bidding. You take your time painting his sweet little face, the trained hands of an expert toy maker. You cannot escape this hell until your family is whole. Someone must love this child as their own. You kick at the old bones here, ghostly memories of your failed marriages tempted by their young souls, driven mad by their willful wailing or their false kindness and trickery. Tonight will be different. You whittle a new blade to drown out the agonizing hunger, desperate for soft bone and fresh souls. You whisper your vengeance to your precious firstborn. Papa will return home tonight to greet the uninvited guests. Your eager son wastes no time finding the intruders here. Arrogant fools that knocked down your walls and defiled your original woodwork. You unearth an ornately carved music box and wind it methodically. At the strike of midnight, this lullaby will silence them all. You let the music lift your soul from the rotting wood you inhabit. Drifting into your child to watch and listen to those who trespass here. You let your hatred fuel this form, chasing down the intruder and stabbing him to death with glee before returning to your body. The clock chimes and the midnight feast begins. One glance at your hideous nature can petrify bone. Room by room, you turn your skeleton key and devour each soul in ecstasy. Momentarily sated. Another precious child regurgitates from your gaping jaw as the hunger rises once more. Papa is so proud. You admire your creation, a small replica of the man who slept in his bed moments before. It is time to make a sister. The woman is dressed in a satin ball gown. Such a pretty child for your collection. You bow to her as she tries to run. You spin her petrified form, swallowing her soul in a dance of death. You whisper new cursed rhymes to your growing brood. Papa says there is much to do before sleep comes at sunrise. The remaining guests are in the ballroom, a banquet of beautiful souls to feast on as you seek a mother to complete your new family. 
The night is still young for the ballroom guests who dance and drink and defile your home. You watch from the balcony, cleaning blood from your blade, looking for the one you will take for a wife. An older gentleman passes by, spilling his drink on the stairs. He glances up at you, and you devour his soul. You delicately decapitate him with your tool and mount his petrified skull on the bolstrad. His final moment of terror preserved for all to see. Fresh bone is soft and quick for you to carve. The faces of your uninvited guests now adorn the wooden walls. A warning to those who dare trespass here. But you keep one for your bride taking just her eyes to ensure she remains flesh and blood. She is beautiful in her terror. Watching your hollow children toy with the knight's spoil, you look into her soul and resist the deep desire to devour her goodness whole. The lullaby quiets her into sleep as you choose the perfect carving tool. An eye for an eye. There is a satisfying sound as you pluck out her sight. Carve the sockets clean. You skewer her eyes on your fingertips. A delicacy you savor slowly. The children dance with glee as Mama awakens. A new soulmate for eternity. The halls are deadly quiet once more as the sun rises. You store your precious music box and kiss your children goodnight. Tucked safely to bed in the nursery. Your blind bride whimpers from the corner as you place the final board, locking her safely within these walls for eternity. You shall join your bride soon, but your precious inn needs tending. You have the family you always wanted, and you will do whatever it takes to keep them. Tonight's feast will surely draw attention in the morning. Come, children. Mama shall tuck you in tight. Papa has work to do.